Here we are uh, in the Cristal module, and you see the air hoses that provide ventilation. Very important in zero gravity not to have dead spots, and we can reroute these hoses as necessary to change the airflow uh, depending where the hot and cold spots are in the vehicle. That's a yellow oxygen tank you just saw on the left. There's a spacesuit on the right. This is a storage area, uh, and you can see that we have to transfer all the 9,000 items down this corridor to get into the rest of the Muir space station. It's not very wide. There's the area I slept in above. We pull ourselves with sets of these bungees. You see that black bungee on the top. So uh, we have prepared this area before the shuttle docked and cleared it. It's actually much more crowded than this uh, during actual life. Uh, storage lockers on the left, panels on the right. There are systems and storage behind all these panels. There's the treadmill above. That's really the floor. You might say we were upside down. We're approaching the, dot, the node, the main node to which all the modules, six main sections of the station are attached. Now we're turning, literally turning, rolling into the base block. These modules are attached, uh, so orientation is not necessarily the same in each module. And there's Andy, and we're spending our time uh, transferring information, I'm making sure he knows where things are, and giving him the tips I've learned in four and a half months in space. And here we've turned to the Perota module. It's our main laboratory. It's mostly packed up at this point. I'd spent the last uh, two to three weeks uh, uh, packing up items. So uh, uh, final preparations. There's the computer, very important, as you, many purposes for a laptop on orbit, including watching videos, uh, which I had some, not much time to watch. Uh, but they were interesting as uh, they were, they impacted me strongly as an attachment to Earth.